Hello, welcome back to this channel. Um, today I'm just gonna, um, you know, talk and all this stuff. I'm in the car because my car, my car is, is like a safe place to me, but yeah. So we're just gonna like read quotes and stuff, like you know, on TikTok they have all those quotes and stuff. We're just going to read them and react to them because, you know, they... Okay. So I have like, um, well I'm not going to do that. I have this Instagram page here and like I post like, sent like paragraphs on it, whatever, and everyone like tells me like what the fuck does it mean and stuff. So today I'm going to tell the meaning behind some of the captions. The first post was on 8th of May, which was not a good time, it's, hmm. but because you can't love something unless there's something in it for you, that's just from a song, and that just, it relates to something, and yeah. Sorry, I've been crying, because stupid anxiety. Next one is, I'm so, f I'm fucking done, if you're going to ruin my life, I'm going to ruin yours. This, this is to someone and something, so you can sort of work out, yeah, it's just mm, mm, not much to say on that. Our eyes need to be washed out by tears once in a while so that they can see life with a clearer view again. I do agree with that because, like, it's okay to cry and crying's like not a big deal everyone cries like we're all human so if you cry let it out and it's just like your body's way of showing like you need a like we're washing out the old like the old review that you saw before and then they're washing it out and giving you a clear review hope that makes sense but yeah i'm tired of pain tired of the feeling like maybe just maybe i could have done something i was just a teenage girl when you left me you didn't even try you okay this one it's like i don't know i just because like i write down my feelings and when i was writing this one it's, it's sort of relating to a lot of things um a lot of boy problems a lot of family problems so that's what that one's about so yeah. Then I then like another one's broken. That probably everyone like that's probably Okay. So you're telling me after all the FaceTime slash calls, all the fights slash arguments, all the memories and after being this happy together, you're okay with being strangers again. I'm just I feel like this is sort of self there. This is sort of like self explanatory I don't know how to say that word, so don't come at me. But yeah, it's just, you know, like once you've had a relationship with a friend, a boyfriend, or a girlfriend, whatever, it's like, sorry, it's like you're okay with being strange stuff, all the good times we had. Like, mm, yeah. If you have chemistry, you only need one thing. Timing, but timing's a bitch. Mm, yeah, I agree. Don't lie. All I want to do is be happy again, and that's all. Like, that's all. That's one thing I wish is just to be happy again. Like, I was happy back in January of 2020, and from, and just like from May, it's just, it's not getting better at all. <laughs> Like, people say it does get better, but, like, I don't know when my, when my day's gonna come, when I'm gonna feel, like, better, but. Cheating honestly breaks a person. It's the lowest way to lose someone. It breaks trust, it hurts so much, it's, it's a very easy way to lose yourself after someone cheats on you. Period. Like, after someone cheats on you, you're like, wow, like. Am I even good enough? Mm. You put everything into the relationship and you, they portray you. 
I would have I would give my life to you and put everything on the line just for you and you cheat on me you ruin everything so everything happens for a reason I I don't know if I believe this or not because like if it, I do it's like everything happens for a reason like I don't know if I believe this like quote but it's just me I cared too much and that broke me. That's so accurate. I put, like, f in any, like, in any of my friendships I've had, I've put way, I've put way too much, like, so I'm putting in, like, 170% and then they're putting in, like, 30. It's, like, that happens to me every single time I make a friend. It's always me putting more effort in than what they are. It's, like, that always happens. So, I'm used to it, to be honest. Like, it happened as soon as I moved to Auckland. Like, my Napier friendships, they were the best things. And then once I moved to Auckland, it's like my friendships I made here were just uneven. Do you ever get to the point where you can't feel anything at all? Absolutely. <laughs> like an anxiety. Everyone that I love, I lose. This is so accurate. Like, I've lost, like, all my friends. Because, I don't know stuff that's going on so fun I'm like out here like just having fun by myself so that's it hurts when you realize you were never really as important to someone as they pretended you were yep you broke me is that what you wanted are you finally happy now that's I just like are you happy it's easy to fake a smile, but it's easy to fake a smile, but what's behind it you may never know. Oh yeah, like a girl could be going through so much pain and then like she can just smile and everyone thinks, Oh yep, she's like fine, all good like mm. I can't say that. <laughs> Now it's sunny again. I was just playing on my phone and then like now it's when you when my mum asks me what's wrong, I just say I'm tired because I don't know how to tell the woman that gave me life I don't want to it anymore. Oh fuck. I wish we could have just stayed strangers. Why did you put me through all the car rides, conversations, and about our futures, FaceTime calls, hours and hours of just talking about anything and, and anything? If you were, if you, if we, if you were weed, if if we're just, sorry, I can't speak English. Hang on. The pain is getting harder to bear. A smile, un unable to hide the pain, the voice of anxiety, the lowest voice in the room that you're only using here. A lot of people don't know is like, people do get voices in their head and like when people say yeah like I have a voice in my head, people just think no, like you're lying. But I ha I've like I have a voice in my head to tell me to do stuff and like, it's not fun. Just like, as the days get darker and the light fades, we close our eyes and dream whether that be happy or sad. Do we know what shall happen before us? Will we be happy for the rest of our lives? The answer is simple. In your bed, dreams or thoughts, there is always something bright. And in your dreams, it's you. Okay. Does anyone else find that crazy that you can be so fucking depressed and no one around notices? Oh, mm. Not your parents, not your siblings, not your friends, no one. Like, you can be literally, literally be in the verge of tears, drowning, and everything, every, and every, and everyone is totally oblivious. Yep. Love when sorry, anxiety um, ruins your life, yep. Not that. 
No one broke my heart. I broke it. Da I broke it d my damn self by staying in a situation where my where my energy and time was no longer needed slash wanted. Mm -hmm. I'm still in love with you, but I can't forget the pain you brought me. I choose you over everything and you choose me over me, so... Mm. Okay. I hate crying in front of people. I hate explaining about my problems. I hate it because people don't really care. You just look like you're asking for attention. You look weak and I hate that. Yeah, like, I totally agree with that. My phone is always in my hand. I probably did ignore your text. <laughs> The worst part of being sad is that you don't even know what makes you happy anymore. Thanks. No offense, but if you <laughs> for using me to make you happy until you felt that you didn't need me anymore and left me wondering where I went wrong. Can't tell if I just if I need a hug or just get hit by a car. That's deep. Maybe if I fall in love with my depression, it will leave me too. I sort of agree with this one, because, yeah. How do you explain to someone they, or that they, that you explain to someone that you sometimes get sad for no reason, and that you don't even know the reason of your sadness? I'm just going to, oh fuck, I can't look at my calendar still. It sucks because for a minute I was happy, for a minute I was getting better, for a minute I had hope, but in a minute I lost it all again. Yeah, like that one, like one day I was really happy and then towards the end of the day it just something like made me upset, like upset again, so. Mm. I keep a lot of things to myself because in reality no one cares. Yep. My parents used to say they knew everything about me. Little did they know they lost their happy child years ago. Mm. Watching your best friend become better friends with someone else hurts, bro. Yeah, I can relate to that one. Mm. Are you okay? No, I'm not. Not at all. I'm depressed. My life is falling apart. I want to tell someone. Maybe I should tell you. I need someone to hug me, tell me it's going to be okay. I want to tell someone anything that's happening to me. But it's okay, I'm fine. Just tired, thanks. Didn't you guys used to be best friends? Breaks my heart every time, bro. The worst feeling isn't being lonely, it's being forgotten by someone you never forget. Yup. Guys have no idea how long something they say can stay in a girl's mind. Hmm. <laughs> Too young to feel this much pain. It's one day you'll realize how much I cared. Suicide is stupid. You want to know what is stupid? Hurting someone so much emotionally that they think suicide is the only answer. Be kind. Dear good old days, please come back. Mm. Uh, I wish the good old days could come back, like, all I want is to be happy again, that's all I bloody want, but I bet some things can't happen. Okay, I have um, questions on my phone, and yeah, okay, do you do drugs? Um, no, but I have, I've, <laughs> there. I have had, I have tried them, because I feel like all teenagers try them. You have six figures in your bank account, yep, doesn't matter. You're a bad driver. I wouldn't say I'm a bad driver, like, I feel like everyone says they're a good driver. I'm not bad though, but I'm not good. <laughs> you vape, I've tried it. Yeah, you're a crackhead. I don't know, I feel like I'm more of a sad head to be honest. <laughs> You've never been grounded. 
Um, nah, that's false. I have been grounded because I did something really bad like last year involving school and stuff, so yeah. <laughs> You're a hooker. Sure. You hate school. Um, I feel like different years, like, the only year I did like was probably like year 10 and 11 and I did like a little bit of year 12 but like, like last year I didn't like it at all because mm, I just yeah you have a job yeah I do I work at the vets cool <laughs> you secretly do drugs yeah mm, totally no I don't I just if you want to do that, then you can, because, like, everyone's interested in different, like, hobbies, so, yeah, I just don't do them. When did you start your period? <laughs> I started my period when I was 12 years old, and I don't, mm, okay. Big, biggest insecurities, um, I don't, I think, like, my laugh, or when I talk, because... I don't know, I just, I get, like, nervous sometimes when I'm talking to people and, like, I stumble, like, stutter and mumble. I just, yeah. <laughs> Sad. And, hmm, and just, like, body image as well. Like, that's a big one. I feel like a lot of people have that one, to be honest. But, yeah. That sucks, to be honest, because, like, I just feel like we're the, in the wrong um, generation, be, like, I don't know. Okay, next question. <laughs> um, do you like who you are? Sometimes, sometimes not. Like, sometimes I just feel like I'm disappointing everyone that comes into my life and... What would people say about you at your funeral? I don't really think anyone would come to my funeral, to be honest, because everybody hates me. <laughs> what would you regret not doing in life? Um, hmm. Maybe, like, not living life to the fullest. Mm. What's the wisest thing you've ever heard someone say? Hmm. I don't actually know, but one thing that does come to my mind is, like, you know, everything happens for a reason, and I don't know if I believe that, because I just don't know. <laughs> what lessons in life do you learn to the hard way? What lessons in life did you learn the hard way? Um, that, like, when, when you're older and stuff, you have to, like, you know, you, you have more of a voice and stuff. And you need to, like, step up for yourself and stuff, so. Mm. How often do you worry, what, how often do your biggest worries and fear, fears come true? Um, they can't, like, they're the every day, to be honest. <laughs> if you had one year to live, what would you try to achieve? Um, I don't know. Do you serve money or do you, or do you spend money or do you save money? Um, I do a little bit of both, but like I have a savings account and a spending account, so like whenever I want to spend, I just put money from my savings into that. But I just mostly spend my money on gas. Are you afraid of being your true self around others? Yeah, cause. I don't know why. Like, my true self is like this, talking to a camera and stuff. And when I'm around other people, I act different. Especially, like, around, like, my old friends and stuff. But, yeah. Because I just feel like, I don't know, they won't re like the real me. And they would like the fake user. What are you grateful for? Um, for having a good life, like shelter on my head and like a good family and stuff. 
Have you ever done anything you were proud of lately? Mm, not really. <laughs> have you have you made any recent act of kindness? No. <laughs> if you knew that you would die to oh, if your biggest fear came true, would it matter in five years from now? I don't know, probably, because, like, I don't even know if I can overcome my biggest fear, because, like, I've just lived with it through my whole life, and I just run away from it whenever it comes. How would you describe yourself in one word? Um, lonely and sad. Mm. Do you take people's advice? Not really. Mm. It sort of just goes in one ear out the other. Like it's just like I'm sitting in the classroom again. I mean, mm. Do you get quickly offended? Absolutely. Do you consider yourself to be a likable person? Um, I don't know, cause like I don't really know if anyone likes me. I feel like last year I feel like like I had a small group of people that liked me, but. It's just, you yeah, know, after high school, friendships don't really last, so. We, we make a living by what we get. We make a living by what we give. What does this mean to you? Um, we earn money. We get money. And we can spend money. <laughs> like there's like a part of me that like really really wants a child and everyone like tells me like oh my god you're too young and all this stuff it's like that's the only that's like one thing that will make me happy because it will like I'll be looking after something or a dog but I already have dogs so it's like mm. what makes a meaningful life um just having good people surrounding you and just making you happy and just like not those toxic people mm. would you ever give up your life to save some save another um, it depends who it's for how much would you be willing to if you could live one day over and over again what would you choose mm. I think when I was and um when I was year twelve, like I would yeah, repeat one of those days I think. Do you think you you are important and worthy and affectionate and loved? No. What would you make what would make you feel more worthy? Um <coughs> just having like I don't know because, like, people were there for me and stuff, but it's, like, when I really, really, really need them, it's, like, oh, I have work, or, like, oh, I'm hanging out with my friends. That's the one thing I do is, like, once is, like, if I call you or text you, like, saying I need, like, you right now, that's one thing, like, I want is them to just drop their things and come. But, yeah. What brings you down the most often? Um... Just a lot of things do, but one specifically thing is like just going on social media and things, seeing like all these good friendships and relationships and like people with good bodies and stuff and you're like, oh, am I good enough? Would you rather work less? I'd rather work more. I'd rather work more because it gives me something to do. That's why I do like working, but I only work two days, so yeah, I get a bit bored, but I do like working because it's helps me get like it's to take things off my mind where do you find peace i find like peace just like you know driving your car and just like listening to music or just like listening to music anywhere yeah what is the most important important quality you look in another person trust and just like no judging what's your biggest dream in life to have a child What's your biggest fear? Um, my biggest fear 
I have a want for something. How would you, how would the world be different if you had a, had no, I don't know. What life lessons do you wish you knew 10 years ago? That people can walk all over you and like just use you for, until like they're done with you, until they get bored. And yeah, and make sure you stick up yourself. <laughs> if you could tell your younger self one thing, what would it be? That like, you're gonna have some roller coasters, life's not just a straight line, so just be ready for like ups and downs, and especially a lot of downs. And yeah. If your life was a movie, what would you title it? Um, a roller coaster. <laughs> or a loop. I don't know, just like a lot of like ups and downs. Mm. If your life are, oh, what does excess mean to you? Like, just doing stuff that you love. And yeah. If you could be a different person, who would you be? Um, I really don't think I'd be a different person. I think I would still be me. I just would be happy. What was the best day of your life and why? Um... I don't really know. Maybe like all the like vacations I went on with my family and stuff and all like the memories from Hawks Bay. What do you look forward to in life and what what bad habits do you, you want to ditch? Crying a lot. And just yeah, being sad. Who do you look up to and why? Um, I look up to my parents and I like look up to my like some of my friends that have good jobs and stuff and I'm like, oh like I'm gonna be there one day. Do you know what your partner lo do you know mm. Do the people you love most know how mm. What do you owe yourself? Um, I owe myself a better life and just like making them ha like making myself happy. That's what I owe them. What did you learn yesterday? Um, that gas runs out easily. Do you? What do you like about yourself? Um. I like my eyes and my smile and yeah and I like when my hair's straight or curly. <laughs> Would you consider yourself to be a go a gorgeous person? Um I think everyone's gorgeous in their own way, even though everyone says that, but yeah, I feel like everyone has gorgeous in them. Would you consider uh do you really listen when people talk to you? Um, it sort of depends, like, if I'm, like, talking about something and then, I, then they cut me off and then they just t start talking about something completely different, then no. But if they're talking to me something about, like, you know, more meaningful, I would, like, I do listen. But most of the time, I don't. What is the number one thing you need to make in your life this year? Um, just to, like... He, like just try to keep going up like up 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 like just keep striving <laughs> how many hours per week do you spend on the internet um i spend quite a lot so we don't want to get to like look at that what are you most common in, uh, do you think it's too late to do certain things in your life and why no i don't think it's too late Maybe it might be too late to go to like the little kids, like what little kids can do, but yeah. <laughs> if you could be the most influenced person in the world, what would you change? Um, I don't really know, that's hard. Uh, how much time do you spend with your family and friends? Um, I s over quarantine I spent a lot of time with my family because we had to. Normally 
like for the past years like two years i spent more time with my friends and my family but sort of this year i'm spending more time with my family where do you want to be in five years from now have a child and have a good safe life and yeah what stresses you out a lot of things do um like when i'm on the like motorway and I don't know where I'm going. Like, if I get lost, that stresses me out. And, like, if I'm late or if I'm too early, that also stresses me out. So, what makes life easier? I don't know that question. How often do you give, like, that... Okay, I think we're gonna end it here because I've answered quite a lot of questions and like I've been filming for like 30 minutes so that's fun. Mm. I just like can't believe from the first like beginning of the video I was like sad and then now I'm sort of getting better because I wasn't thinking but 